Indiana Industries emitted nearly 27% fewer greenhouse gas emissions than a decade ago. That's according to data from the Environmental Protection Agency. Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Teal reports coal plant closures largely drove that decline. Power plants in Indiana contribute more than half of all greenhouse gas emissions in the state. A quarter comes from steelmakers like U.S. Steel and Cleveland Cliffs. So it's no surprise that coal plant closures affected emissions. And there's the possibility for more decreases in the next decade. Six coal plants in the state are expected to retire by 2028. Things are moving in the right direction, which I think is notable, particularly because we don't have a lot of policy push inside the state to, to make this happen. But many utilities plan to replace coal plants with at least some natural gas, which still emits a lot of carbon dioxide. Gas pipelines can also leak methane, a more potent greenhouse gas than CO2. And I think that eventually may happen, but it, it, I think replacing them with natural gas is really just a short-term solution rather than a long-term solution to the CO2 emissions. Kaniski says if we want a clean energy economy, we'll need to stop adding new natural gas plants and switch to renewables like wind and solar as quickly as possible. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Rebecca Thiel. Slight uptick in Indiana greenhouse gas emissions from 2020 to 2021, likely as industry ramped back up from the pandemic lockdown.